All day I hear the noise of waters by James Joyce, 1882 to 1941. All day I hear the noise of waters making moan, sad as the seabird is when going forth alone. He hears the wind's cry to the water's monotone. The grey winds, the cold winds are blowing where I go. I hear the noise of many waters far below. All day, all night I hear them flowing to and fro. Okay, this poem is by... James Joyce. Um, James Joyce was an Irish writer. He was best known for his novels. He's best known for Ulysses, although his novel Ulysses um, was banned from publication in the UK and the United States because it was deemed to be obscene. So, in many ways, he had similar problems to um, uh, D.H. Lawrence. Um, he was born in Dublin, and he was educated by the Jesuits, and then he went to University College Dublin. He studied philosophy and languages. Um, and then he spent most of his life living in Europe. He lived in Trieste, and in Zurich, uh, but he uh, Trieste uh, was well is in northern Italy today, but is I think it was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire then. So what's this poem about? Okay, all day I hear the noise of the waters. I think this poem is giving images of sadness and grief and he's linking this sadness and grief to the water um let's see there is a seabird that goes out to fly above the waters and i i get get the feeling that this is portraying the idea of the seabird is alone with its grief alone with its sad with, with its sadness that uh, it is a, lo a lonely world looking down on the uh, on the waters. So all day I hear the noise of waters making moan. So all day I hear the waters moaning. Now wa the water th this is the sea, but why does he choose the word moan? Moan is talking about sadness, pain. And therefore, he's linking this, uh, the noise of the waters, with um, with sadness, with unhappiness. Sad as the seabird is when going forth alone. So a seabird setting out. Very often, you see um, a seabird, a um, a seagull flying alone in the sky, and it's going forth alone. And here, I think. This, to me, gives this image of the water, um, the, the sea, uh, making noises, and this, this seabird alone flying above it. He hears the wind's cry to the water's monotone. And here the wind is blowing um, to the monotone, to the single noise that the... Um, sea makes so the wind is sad the bird is sad the sound of the water is sad all of this this image is sad this is like a stream of consciousness um you're looking at all these things and you have this sad feeling inside these are evoking these different feelings um but each is an element that goes up to make goes to make up the whole scene. The grey winds, the cold winds are blowing where I go. So 
I think here the winds, the grey winds, so how can a wind be grey? Well, grey, it's negative, it's without life, it's um, sad, so sad, cold winds are blowing where I go. I hear the noise of many waters far below. All day, all night, I hear them flowing to and fro. And I think here, now he, I, am the seabird flying above the, uh, the, the waters, the cold winds, the, the winds that are blowing and talking to the water, or the water is talking to the winds. And uh, he, the bird is looking down and seeing the water below making the, its sad, melancholy sounds. And permanently, um, the, this bird is, uh, or the, the waters are flowing all day and all night. They flow backwards and forwards. But all of this is sadness. And it, he's saying that, uh, that he's living in, in a world of sadness, that he feels that he is this seabird above the waters in the wind. And cl I get this image of a cold grey day with the, w with the wind blowing and the sea is choppy and it seems very sad and without life. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. All day I hear the noise of waters by James Joyce.